gathering room. The gathering room lies at the entrance to the Crystal Caves. Used primarily as a meeting area, Jedi Masters brought younglings here for instruction and meditation before they began their sacred search for Kyber Christmas. Alright, so this actually might just be the actual entrance. Oh. Yeah, it used to be beautiful. The warmth is nice. What is this? Like a container of the forest? Magnifying window. Built by the Jedi Masters who constructed the temple on Illum a thousand years ago, this window magnified natural outside light for heat. A beam of intense light generated through the large glass portal was then directed to a specific areas of ice that melted under the heat. Ah, so this place was always a super cold jittle. It's maybe not as much as the one here. Uh, interesting. There's a floating piece of ice in the middle of this temple. Ah. I remember this room. Master Yoda melted that door to let us into the caves. Not with the force. With that crystal. The light passed through it and carried its warmth. I bet we can do it too. Well, first I gotta find a place to attach this to. I don't think we can do that just yet. Huh. Do do this? Aha! Oh. Alright. Now I think I just have to climb up and use the other side. Or I can do this. Rock the crystal back and forth. Eh, it might not work as well as I'd like. Alright, fine. Wait, can I not go back from here? Oh, that's... That's awkward. See, here's a problem. Oh, wait, hold on. We didn't do this. I don't know if this actually- oh, you know what? This is actually moving it. Got you. I tried moving the crystal by riding the crystal. But that didn't work. Wow. I just had to reverse the orders! Okay, now I can get the fuck out of here. So... Now, we gotta move to the next part of this puzzle, Let's and go, I'm not BD. fully sure what it is. Hello. More light. Okay. So I think we have to connect the crystal this time now. Over here. I see the problem. I need the rope to come over to this side anyways. Alright. So like this. And then I can adjust it from the top. Honestly, it's probably just gonna be like this. What do you want me to scan over here, BD? Light enhancing crystals. I feel like they should've just built heaters. Crystals arrange within the temple and hence the light to focus- Oh no, I moved! Uh, to focus heat on specific areas. As the light beam melts the ice, it opens hidden passageways known only to the Jedi. I mean, who the fuck else walked through here? <laughs> Aha! Nothing complicated! Ah! 
I can move on. But yeah, it's always funny to think about how ancient civilization is in the Star Wars universe, because they had, you know, they had fucking like laser blasters and light speed for thousands of years. But this ancient temple can't make heaters for it. Is this a one-way trip? No, we're not sliding down. Although, oh boy. Oh god, cold water. Oh, terrible idea. Am I gonna need to like stay near heat vents? I feel like that should be a mechanic, but we're not getting any warnings about it, so okay. Whatever. We can't freeze to death. I still don't approve of that. Just give me the ability to customize the colors directly. And then we'll be good. What is this? Each path is different, young one. Be mindful of your anger. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. A pack dropped by a frustrated youngling. Some succeed, but some fail. This one gave in to her anger. Ugh. <laughs> that guy's name was like Ugo Bongo or something. Why can't these Jedi Masters just have normal names? Like, what does Obi-Wan stand for? Or Qui-Gon Jinn? There's heat coming from those cracks underwater, but it's freezing up here. Uh, okay, the implication is that Feel that it. water was it's warm. Me. We must be close. Jedi can't pick any camper crystal. It chooses you. Yeah, kinda like you. No. <laughs> He's like, he chose me. Oh boy. Thought that was about to break. Something interesting? Geodes. Illum is naturally abundant in geological formations known within or found within mineral rich underground rock. Billions of years of accumulated mineral matter deposited from hydrothermal fluids have infused the rock walls with valuable con constituents, including rare crystals. That's useful information to me, I guess. Ooh. Just a little shake. It'll be okay. I see a little bit of like force energy or something. Oh, I don't like these shakes. Send it back. It holds. I need another. Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna like be just about to get my crystal and then something dumb's gonna happen. We're gonna like fall into a pit and have to walk our way up. But maybe they'll be kind. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> calls getting stronger. Let's hurry. The crystal it calls to me. Oh, the loot it calls to me. You. I don't know how to get over there. It might not be possible. I'll come back for you. Sometimes he can climb without holding left trigger and then sometimes he just gives up. I feel like I'm surrounded by ghosts. I mean, you probably are. I'm not all right. It's hard to be here. Thanks, buddy. You know, uh oh. How did they find us here? Maybe they uh, already knew about this place all the time. I mean, kids trained here. I'm sure a kid would have given this place up easily. There's a temple where we choose our crystals to make our lightsabers. It's an ice planet in the middle of fucking nowhere. 
Oh, really? <laughs> we know a lot of middle of fucking nowheres. Uh huh. Is that where I'm going? It's not, which makes it the perfect place for me to go. Let me up! No! Fine, I go the long way. Okay, this wasn't so bad. And hey, you know what? If this is a force one, I'm getting extra force. Nope, not a presence. Where did you last see him? Uba Nebanachi. He was heading into the caves. He called out, but I couldn't find him. Youngling lost. Remains of a camp. A Jedi master was concerned for a youngling that was missing in the caves. God. You know, I feel bad for the Jedi Masters that had to take younglings here. I mean, it had to be infuriating. You, you bring a kid in here, they get tempted by the dark side, and you're just like, ugh. Kids, please. We've got a problem. There are pro droids in the caverns. There's no way they could have put a tracker on us. But I would have said the same about Trilla hijacking your comm. Reese and I will search the Mantis. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I've got my crystal. You're vulnerable out there. Don't take any unnecessary risks. No, I mean, this entire mission is unnecessary risks, so, you know, not gonna, not gonna listen to you on that one. Oh, that was perfectly placed, wow. Is that a secret area down there? You know, with hidden loot, that'd be pretty nice. Nah, that goes fine, too. A youngling dropped this during your test. She was so scared of failing. Brings back some memories. Youngling afraid. A supply pouch left by a youngling doing with fear and frustration. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen it. A part of the Star Wars movies just show fucking Anakin just stuck in this ice cave, hating everything. That's it. I can see it shining. Mm, can I go through here? Power of the Force compels you. Okay. So I accept that. All right, these geothermal vents keep the water warm enough to swim through. But why can we then get out of the water? And still be fine. We're, we have hypothermia, man. We're, we're suffering visions and dying right now. But yes, the crystal calls to me. I can feel it. We're almost out of here. I promise. Uh, hold on, gotta go through this delicate, tight space here. The crystal is choosing me! Don't come any closer! Beat it! Ah, oh, good thing I didn't need Beatty to breathe underwater. Uh oh. The screen looks like it's freezing. I'm passing out! Ah! Force vision of myself. Trust me. Sure. Light side of the force. My childhood innocence. <laughs> yes, it would be really fucking freezing after you get out of the water. And freezing for like the next couple of hours, honestly. But yes, the crystal will make it ball better.
Uh, uh, must reach crystal. Uh, so, I'll get gold. Should have asked Master how to force warp myself up when I was here last time. Jeez. Just like, you know what? You've got too much baggage. I'm breaking right now. <laughs> Imagine a rock just says, fuck you. <laughs> Failure is not the end, my friend. Nova? Like legit? Or like a hologram thing? Okay, it's just BD. BD, do you have a heater on you? That's good, that's good The time's come. This may be the last you see of me. I can sense the doom of the Jedi Order is upon us. Oh. Oh, Beatty. <laughs> no. Failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. Like you, BD-1. I believe you will find someone just as brave and persistent as you have been. And you will help them as you have helped me. It's really hard to take this seriously. BD wants to adore me. memory will be completely lost. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, he has a crystal inside of him? Well, that's fucking convenient. Total memory encryption. Only with a trusted connection will your memories be restored. Or that could just be a chip that takes out his memories. I believe in you. As I always have. And I believe in whom you choose to replace me. You know, BD could have shown us this, like, at any time. <laughs> After he fully trusted us. Your memories. You risked them for me. Ooh. <laughs> I believe in you too, buddy. What if we just force compress these things together? There's always a chance. Come on. Okay. What are we? What the fuck are we gonna do with this? Uh, multiple entries. In his final message, Master Cordova revealed a close connection to BD-1, his faithful companion droid. On their many adventures, they shared close trust as BD-1 recorded Cordova's journey and vital knowledge. When they parted ways, BD-1 agreed to have his memory banks encrypted with this information. Beginning his important mission and saying goodbye to one another. Oh. Alright, so, uh, what am I doing here? Cha move to change the color. Ah! Change your lightsaber crystal color if you want. Go fuck- <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Flair! There's no red on the power of the light side! Uh... You know, I'm not really feeling any of these, except for maybe the first one. 
Because this one looks kind of orangish. This one kind of looks yellowish, greenish. But I already have base green and base blue. That one looks a little purple, pinkish. Let's go for this. All right, let's get our scrapper, uh, five years of scrapping down. By just randomly zapping my lightsaber with no real intent of showing what the fuck he's doing to fix it. We combined her lightsaber with mine. Is it gonna be a different color on each side? Oh, well, that's still, whoa! Ho oh, ho, hold up, hold up. I wasn't expecting that one. I thought about it earlier, I was like, it'd be sick to do a wield. Cal's lightsaber splits and enable devastating force attacks. Uh. Holy shit. You have my attention. So. Oh, now we actually have, like, the other colors as well. If we want it to be like, alright, purple. Indigo. Cyan's kind of cool. I want a white one, though. So... Oh, now I can only change one side again. I'm going to this. Duty and resolve, peace and justice. Ooh, Dolovite looks fucking cool. But it doesn't match our Scion color. Alright, let's rock! We're probably gonna get attacked, like, immediately, I have a feeling. Choose your crystal. It chooses you. Finding the crystals. Crystal discovered by Youngling, but mysteriously left behind. Yeah, because he's, you know, it didn't choose him. Alright, I've got a good feeling we're about to start encountering some uh, troopers in here. You can change both meters. Ah, uh, we can change them separately? I just didn't notice. Okay. Do we have any other abilities now? Darn. I was hoping, man. There's just... There's... The four spears keep continuing off into the distance, but... Not for us. Here we go. I didn't notice the second emitter over here. Yeah, thanks, Seer, but no, I'm good. We're gonna go with, uh, some cool shit. We're gonna go with... Jaro to Paul's. Because that one actually looks cool. I just, I like, I really like the design of, the, of like, hilts where, like, there's shit along the side of the, the lightsaber as well. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, we're not in the. Oh, there we go. So, uh. Woo! Yeah, you guys aren't lasting through this. We've got my lightsaber back, and I'm ready to handle all your forces. Bye bye. Oh, that's so cute that you guys think you're gonna do anything. <laughs> ah! The stormtroopers really think that I would let them take me on? Alright, so the dual lightsaber, or the double bladed lightsaber's force attack is a little bit more about sheer damage. Whereas the single lightsaber is about crowd control. Sick. So they kind of uh, they counterbalance each other there a bit. You got this, BD. Oh my. I like how it's like it requires force. Well, give me more. I'll attack them all at once, man. Come on. No, I'm being hugged. Wow. Not again. Ugh. Holy shit! BD, stem. You almost got me there. You two done watching? You can join in too. Ah, god damn it! These grabs, man. Nice. Whoa. Not again. Can you patch me up? Don't fall behind. I was very concerned. <laughs> Had a good couple of grabs there. What is up? Oh, you want me to splice the door? BPD. Go for it. Seer, we need to get out of here. They've taken over Ilum. Are you all right? No, they spotted me. And that's not all. They're mining kyber crystals. Captain, prepare for takeoff. <laughs> I hate these cold. I hate these caves. <laughs> Well, at least we got a lot of skill points out of that. All right. Let's do... You know, now I actually have a reason to, like, do Howling Pool. Because I can do Howling Pool, drag all the enemies into me, and then use my Force Attack. Which would just murder countless numbers of people. We'll do whirlwind throw though, so that way we have another option for crowds. Hey boys! Contact! Eyes up! Don't let him get away! I'm sure we'll beat you! Ouch! Ouch! Stop canceling my force attacks! Do you really need only a few hits? Because I only need one more hit. Alright, how many forces you guys bring? Cause I'm ready to rock and roll. 
Well, I see a way over here to explore. What are we scanning over here? Kyber crystals? Yeah, we are. Powerful kyber crystals grow naturally on Ilum, one of the rare planets in the galaxy where they can be found. Such crystals resonate with concentrated energy in a unique manner through the Force, exhibiting a collective consciousness that allows them to communicate with one another and living beings. As part of Jedi training, younglings were sent to the crystal caves of Ka'ilum to mine these crystals in order to construct their own lightsaber. It's cool. How the hell do I get over here? That was me, are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm really not. Whoa! I did not see that until it was too late. He escaped somehow. Together, come on, hit him. Stay on you. We're gonna just heal. So I think I just go backwards from here, but I don't want to go backwards from here. Because there's a secret. There is the Force secret that we looked at beforehand, which we might have access to now. Despite this place being absolutely filled up to the brim with stormtroopers, I'm willing to fight. All right. Here. I remember the wonder of these caves. Well, I couldn't wait to complete my training and become. Jedi. I cut myself off from my reminiscing. Oh, hello. Ah, the blowing up. It got me too. Stim BD. I'm sad. I was wondering what, she, what he was going to say. Hearing him reminisce about his childhood actually would have been cool. I remember the wonders of these caves. There was none. It sucked. It, it was absolutely awful. Who thought of bringing younglings in their Padawan robes with no sleeves into a cave with water? And like freezing temperatures. <laughs> what do you got for me here? <laughs> youngling pride. The bag belonged to a Jedi master who tried to provide their youngling with wisdom. And the wisdom was like, yeah, um, whatever. Huh. <laughs> but master, this is easy. I like this triumphant music as I'm just going back to fucking exploring. Not this way. 